as we can see here I installed my uh, I guess you can call it an upgrade kit uh, from China uh, this part was looked like the nicer of the collection there this one was $14 had free shipping so that was alright took about uh, uh, I say 10 days, so that wasn't that bad of a wait. Uh, but uh, the goal here was to use the GoPro with the uh, the Hero Bus on the back. Uh, as you can see over here, let's return and grab it. I have my backpack on there. Let's take that off. Side. So, yeah, you can see on the backpack it has the same type of connector. I'm sure everyone's seen it. So, with the backpack or the Hero Bus connector, it actually slit, sits on there quite snug. Uh, a lot better than just flinging around in there until you get the to get the case or the strap on there so obviously I'm not gonna go fly around without securing it with the uh, with actual bracket but <clears throat> for quick test fitting it actually works pretty nice so uh, installing it was a bit of a challenge um, nothing uh, nothing that a few bit of Dremel trimming couldn't handle. Uh, you can see some leftover uh, PCB board particles. <laughs> the, if I can get in there without the light going away. So the the edge there, see the PCB, this one's white. It uh, did not sit all the way down in there. It, uh, it The holes lined up for the, the guides and the screws, but it was just like a hair too thick. So went around the edge with the Dremel and uh, shaved off some extra some extra stuff, um, I don't know, maybe a millimeter, <laughs> maybe even less, um, until it just sat in there quite nicely. Um, the mounting screws, it came with came with these tiny little replacement screws. Uh, can't even get this to focus. Oh well, screws a screw. But uh, it was just the screw. There's nothing to screw into. Now, obviously, when you do this upgrade, you're actually taking off the uh, original cover here and uh, exposing the slot to drop to drop this guy in. So, uh, since they didn't re send you a replacement cover, I was kind of. Uh, curious as to what my approach would be here so half a second I thought about cutting up into that guy to make a nice little you know slot for it but the uh, the side parts here the little risers they don't fit between the edge and the edge of the connector so that wasn't going to be a possibility plus cutting into that guy with my Dremel would uh, take you know Quite a while, so we scratch that. Um, so, but that left me without uh, screwing the ends because here you could see uh, it's threaded in there, so that's where the screw would tie into. But uh, since that can't work, luckily in my uh, endless amounts of parts, I have uh, these tiny little nuts that. Uh, fit on top of some screws they're not quite the same uh, same ones that that came on the back but uh, the weight seems to mount, match up as far as uh, uh, it initializing and balancing itself so uh, I lucked out there um, the rest of you might have to find uh, find some sort of screw nut combination to actually get that in there to make it stay but once it's in there it's nice and snug it's it's not going anywhere so you can 
pull and yank on the uh, GoPro to get it out just as you need to because the connector is quite snug. Um, I was uh, I wasn't happy with how snug it was. I mean, uh, there's no problems. It was it pushed on. You just gotta give it a little bit of loving to get it on there. But I wanted a quicker, smoother uh, disconnect. So again, uh, took out the Dremel and shaved off some sides on the on the connectors. Um, it's plastic, so it's gonna trim away pretty easily. Just put it on a high setting and. Uh, just uh, take a little bit at a time so that you don't cut in too much and make sure you do it evenly too you don't want you don't want it tapering uh, so you just test fit it a bit until you find a nice uh, nice uh, smooth fitting to your taste uh, if you want it a little bit thicker or stiffer uh, connection then uh, then you probably don't even have to worry about it but if you want a kind of a nice smooth connection and disconnect then uh, I definitely suggest uh, <clears throat> trimming that down a bit so uh, the reason behind doing this is one no one really likes the uh, the extra floppy uh, side piece here um, some people say it breaks off and all that and and that's all well and good but uh, I wanted to use my uh, condenser mic with a windscreen on it. Um, got the GoPro adapter. The eBay China ones do not work. Don't let anyone's uh, false advertising of a comment sway you otherwise, unless you are willing to crack it open. Um, you need to solder on a transistor. Uh, I believe it's. Um, 2.7k resistor or I could be could be completely wrong a lot of numbers are thrown around so uh, basically a transistor needs to jump across a couple of the pins so that it tells the GoPro to switch into external mic so uh, since I didn't want to deal with that I decided to just buy the regular cable no big deal 10 bucks I've got on Amazon other places I see they're doing 20 but 10 bucks was good for me um, so when I had my camera mounted and plugged in uh, there was a lot of weight obviously it's kind of weird to mount this is this is not a lot of slack for it to move around so I would have to get some sort of extension uh, cable so that it could have a lot of slack but I'm fearful that this will provide too much of a counterweight because um, uh, what you saw me playing with earlier this little lens protector um, I don't actually got junk on it already <laughs> I had that installed earlier in one of my other videos uh, demonstrating the what people call the yaw snap so the gimbal is sitting there doing its job and then all of a sudden you see it spin and then smack comes back to center smack back to center one point in the video it actually just died it completely just flopped forward and just sat there and then reinitialized um, so I needed to uh, test again without the lens protecting cover on there it's kinda nice because I don't I don't like using the big bulky container and obviously you can't with a gimbal here but uh, I rather have good, uh, reliable gimbal control versus um, protected lens, I guess. So I'll take it up again and and try to see if that was the case. And, but uh, another variable, unfortunately, is the uh, the back here. But uh, it should be okay. Um, I might run through the calibrator again just to just for kicks and giggles. Uh, so that's the install here. Um, I was going to do a video of Wiles figuring it out, but then uh, I did not want to make a fool of myself too much. So <laughs> you can still see uh, all the aftermath. Um, the, the ribbon is quite long, so you're going to have to fold it over. Um, so it starts here and the other end's right here. So I got to fold it over and tuck it in. I have the sticker somewhere 
this one's not going to stick back on right, so that one's done for, but uh, put the sticker back on and cover that up and uh, be ready to go. So I'll do another video and uh, see if we can get rid of that yaw snap.